Hey there, this is Tyler Delaney from the Julie Kinnear team, and I wanted to share with you today one of the more common real estate questions that I get asked, which is, is now a good time to buy? It's a great question, and it's one that we cover pretty thoroughly during our buyer consultation with new clients. Uh, so if you are thinking of making a move, uh, purchasing real estate in Toronto, give me a call. We can grab a coffee and chat about this and other important topics around Toronto real estate. Um, but let me give you some insight into how I like to try to answer this question for people uh, when they ask, is now a good time to buy? Uh, and I think it comes down to, you know, the underlying question that people are asking, which is what's going on with house prices in Toronto? What can we expect in the next six months to 12 months? Um, are we due for a correction? Is the bubble going to burst? Is it going to be a crash? Uh, will prices keep climbing? Uh, everybody's got an opinion. I've got my thoughts on it. I'd love to share. Um, but the truth is there's just way too many variables, uh, you know, in terms of political economic factors that affect um, our market and the, uh, the growth of real estate prices in Toronto. Um, so short term, there's, there's really no guarantee. No one can tell you with certainty what's going to happen um, with prices. But uh, historically, Toronto real estate has been a pretty reliable investment vehicle uh, for folks. Uh, you know, just ask your parents. I mean, the equity growth that they've seen over the past few decades is, uh, is very positive and has been great for them. So uh, I like to look at Toronto real estate as more of a long-term uh, investment. And uh, so I think the better question rather than, you know, what's going on with prices and is now a good time is, how can I best prepare my family uh, to purchase a home and take advantage of the long-term growth uh, in equity of Toronto real estate? And that really breaks down into asking yourself three questions. Uh, and the first is, am I prepared financially to buy a house um, in Toronto? And that can break down into the down payment. You have to have a minimum down payment to purchase in Toronto. Um, and how much can you qualify to get in a mortgage? And more importantly than qualifying is, what are you comfortable with in terms of payments such that you can uh, continue to pay your uh, mortgage and carrying costs uh, should the market change, should your job situation change, should your family situation change. Uh, you really want to only buy as much house as you're comfortable paying for um, in the long term. What you want to avoid is having to, being forced to sell uh, in a down market when prices dip because something has happened and you've stretched yourself a bit too thin. So choosing the right purchase price is a very important conversation. Uh, the second question you want to ask is what's your time horizon like? We talked about short-term versus long-term gains in the Toronto market. Um, so if you were to say, you know, I, I want to buy a property for a year or two and then sell and, and reap the benefits and, and the gains of that, I would, you know, question, you know, uh, the risk involved in, in a strategy like that. I think that um, real estate has to be a long-term decision for you, at least five years, you know, if not 10 or 15. Uh, that's where you're going to see the reliable uh, growth in equity. Um, so your time horizon is a very important question. The third is your motivation to buy. Uh, you know, a lot of people look at Toronto real estate as an investment, or at least they have in the past, you know, a couple of decades where we've seen such astronomical growth. Um, but really, you know, real estate should be first and foremost, a place to live, a place for your family, um, you know, a place to, to have memories and, and, you know, operate from security and safety and, uh, you know, the calm of having your own place. Um, and not having to worry about, uh, you know, rent going up and being kicked out, uh, you know, for all sorts of different reasons. So I would question, you know, your motivations behind real estate and make sure that it's coming from the right place. Um, and those are three questions you can ask. There's a few others that we go into in the buyer consultation. Um, so I'd encourage you to give me a call and we can get together and chat about your plans to buy uh, property in Toronto. Thanks very much for your time.